So, security's done, audio's done, air suspension's installed. The next stop is Body Shop to have the Liberty Walk kit fitted. And that's right, Colorcraft are gonna be working their magic and putting the kit onto um, the 430. And um, they're quite handy with a uh, angle grinder as well, so. Here's the kit. So if you can imagine this kit is gonna be going onto that car. It's gonna involve a lot of cutting, a lot of drilling, and some uh, paint work as well. So some of you may cringe. Some of you may jump with joy because you love watching this sort of stuff. Some of you might just switch off and think, oh, I can't watch this. And uh, we'll give you an insight into what's involved in getting a Liberty Walk installed onto a kit. And I'll catch up with you in a bit. So where's it going, Paul? Well, getting it loaded up into a trailer and it's heading off to Northampton. Well, it definitely ain't going to fit in there on the way back, so we'll have to drive it back. So welcome, see you come through. This is a customer's GTR R35 with the Type 1 Liberty Water kit. This is actually pretty rare. Uh, there's not a lot of Type 1 kits about. This was actually the first GTR kit that Liberty Walk ever made. We do everything here. New car reveals, backing vehicles for new customers. This awesome chap is Vittura Kato. He is the founder and owner of Liberty Walk. He started it back in 2004. Uh, on a small courtyard where it could only have three cars on display. And it's grown into one of the most crazy automotive customizing companies out there. This is our Liberty Walk Cafe. On the wall here, we have examples of previous builds uh, that we have done here. We have our first ever build, which is actually our Mini. Um, we built that actually back in 2015 when we took the exclusive distributorship of Liberty Walk in Europe. Um, and then the rest of them are just other examples of different demo cars we've built, other customers' vehicles. They come in standard and they leave amazing. <laughs> So at the moment, we actually have something new brewing at the moment over at Colorcraft getting built. It's a Ferrari F430. Uh, we've not done one of these before. Really excited for this one. It's gonna be a crazy build. And actually, uh, I think let's take a wonder over there now and see how the guys are getting on. Okay, so here we are. This is Colorcraft. This is actually where all the magic gets made. Uh, all our Liberty Walk demo cars have been built here. Let's show you what you came for.
Looks like Tim here from Colorcraft is attaching the new front wide arch to the Ferrari F430. Well, we're just doing a dry build like we always do, just getting it marked out, pinned up, obviously doing the cutting so we get everything nice so we know where it is. When okay. it's then next stage now, really, we'll rev cert this on. Awesome, it's looking good. I think so. It's a lovely kit, fits nice. Just got to make sure everything's how it should be. That's it, simple as that. Yes, boy. It might seem like this drill bit is really blunt, which it is, because it's thin and close to the edge. If you had a really good drill, it would literally just tear through it. Is it like splinter and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, just rip holes in it. Yeah. Little top tip for you there. Mm. Because it's fiberglass, any alterations, like I say, to keep this uniform, we'll alter this here. That goes a little bit tight there. Ta -da. <laughs> it's a job well done, that, I think, mate. That's the easy end. Okay, so there you have it. A really nice uh, behind the scenes there from Tim, giving us a look at what goes into building these amazing cars. And to be honest, it's really got me excited. I can't wait to see this finish. It's gonna be epic. And I'm really excited to see how Palm takes it as well when he comes to pick it up. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, update video of the uh, Liberty Walk 430. I'll tell you what, I cannot wait until it's done. Um, we hope to have it back here in a few weeks. Like I said, we are waiting for the wheels to turn up. Once they turn up, they'll get put on the car. And uh, before we pick the car up, it will be fully detailed, machine polished and ceramic coated, and it'll be ready for the customer to pick up. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, share and subscribe, because on the next episode from this uh, Ferrari, it's gonna be the handover video to the customer and we're gonna get his impressions on video. I know he's excited as I am. He doesn't want to see it until it's fully done. So that's going to be one to watch. Subscribe so you get that notification. And boy, I'll see you next time.